Hello, welcome. Today I would like to show you some solution of the problem I had today. I took um, a hard drive from my laptop that broke down and I wanted to put that into my stationary PC. And when I connected it, there were two partitions on it, as you can see above. Of course, now you can see the situation when everything is solved, but I will take you through how I've done it and how I solved it. So I had two partitions in here and I wanted to merge them together so there was only one. First of all, I couldn't do it. I just deleted the volume and then tried to create a new one but I really couldn't do it because I had this prompt that there is not enough space on the disk. So I downloaded plenty of different softwares from internet and the free versions of them couldn't really help me so here it is how you can do it now i will show you how to go to this disk management if you didn't know how to do it so just go to start and type this and it should pop up so you can just open it now go to start again and type cmd for command prompt and open it as administrator and once it's opened we need to go and type disk part and once we are there we actually need to list our disks so we are typing list disk and now you can see that we've got two disks and now they look good because they are fixed already but the second disk uh, didn't show that it was GPT and it was shown that it is dynamic and because of it it didn't want to and get fixed so we need to convert it to GPT so first thing you need to select the disk that you want to work with so just type select disk and choose whether number is appropriate in my case it's one so now you get the prompt that it is selected so now we have to clean it so just type clean I won't do it again because I've already done it but it will work as I've did it just minutes ago so now once it's clean we have to convert it to GPT so just type convert GPT and when you press enter it should be converted so now you will just see if you open your disk management again so probably just refresh it or just close it and open again you would see that there is some unallocated space on your disk so you can create a new partition straight from there and there will be a wizard that you will have to click next, next and so on to create a new partition or you can use command line to do so and I will show you something, let's go online and I typed disk parts and I was moved to Microsoft Docs and here you can see some list of the commands that you can use with this part so here is some additional info on how to create this partition so actually as I said you can do it in disk management or you can do it straight in the command line so if you want to create a partition you have to select the disk again to be sure that the right disk is selected and then just type create partition and you can type primary uh, it depends you can create primary and extend it it doesn't really matter if you want to keep only one partition or two, uh, the primary or, or extended, you can choose either of them. It doesn't matter, but as you can see, when I did it with the disk management, it created the partition as primary. And then you can see that it's shown that you should specify some size if you want to create few partitions but if you want to create only one partition you can omit it so you can only type create partition primary and that's it you don't have to specify the size if you want to allocate all the space that is available so once again select disk and the number of the disk create partition primary then assign letter if this is your second disk like it is in my case so I've got the disk C and then you will just assign letter D. Of course, if you had more disks and you want to assign the third disk, you would put an E, okay? So I hope this is quite easy. And in the end, just exit the disk part. So just type exit and you are off. And this is pretty much it. This is how you solve it, how you convert to GPT 
and in most cases probably it will work so i hope you can manage it and see you in the next one